and welcome back to my channel and my 31 week pregnancy update. Today is Thursday the 2nd of March and this morning I went off to a midwife appointment. I had a new midwife, someone I'd not met before, sadly my midwife had retired but she was lovely so we went through the usual checks, you know, blood pressure, urine, listened to baby's heart rate and they also measured my bump. And I was quite nervous going into this appointment. I don't know why. I don't know if I was possibly preempting something. If you watched my 28 week midwife appointment video, I actually ended up in emergency triage. None of that today. However, when they measured my bump, baby was a little bit smaller than last time. Now, I've spoken to loads of people and they have said that, you know, this happens often, the measurement of the bump isn't accurate, etc. I'll pop in here my chart, I did take a picture of it, and you'll see it has only gone down slightly, but we're now going for a growth scan tomorrow. So, part of me is excited because obviously I get to see baby boy, we'll get a rough idea of how much he's weighing at the moment at 31 weeks, but I was, I was... I'd disappointed, I don't know if that's the right word, I just felt a little bit like, oh, I, I was just really hoping that he was going to be completely fine. They listened to his heartbeat, his heartbeat was fine, they were happy with that, I think it was 144 and they felt for his position, he is currently head down and I have got a bum up near my belly button and that makes sense why I've been getting kicks to the ribs and arms all over the place. So it was quite exciting to hear that he is head down um, but not so exciting to hear that he is a little bit smaller compared to my measurements um, last week. So, or my bump is smaller anyway. So we're going for that growth scan tomorrow. So obviously I'll pick up my camera tomorrow and update you. They also checked my urine and they said that it had I can never remember the word, I'm going to pop it on the screen, began with L, um, but it could indicate the start of a urine infection and I am already on long term antibiotics for my reoccurring UTIs but I've not actually had one since my first trimester. So she said it could literally just be discharge that's got into my urine, um, I have had an increase in discharge over the last week that has definitely been one of my pregnancy symptoms. Um, so it could just be that, but it could also potentially be another UTI, which is definitely not what I want at this stage in pregnancy because I don't want to be going into early labour. So they've sent my urine sample off and they're going to contact me if there is any sign of infection and then we'll take it from there. So that was today's midwife appointment. I left feeling a little bit deflated, a little bit upset and we'll just have to see what happens with this growth scan tomorrow he could be completely fine i'll give you a bump update because somebody asked me in the comments if i can do some bump updates so we'll remember to do that in every video so what i'm going to do is quickly show you my bump and then in my last video i mentioned that i was quite hungry snacking quite often but trying to be a little bit more conscious with what i'm eating at the moment trying to eat a little bit healthier which i have done all week but my sweet tooth is unreal so i'm going to take you downstairs and show you some of the snacks that i've been eating they are on the lower calorie side but they sort of like satisfy my sweet tooth and i've got some little savory snacks that i've been eating as well so i do find that i'm snacking a lot more throughout the day so i'm trying to pick things that are a little bit healthier or like lower calorie um so that i'm not going crazy with my calories in the last few weeks of pregnancy so bump update and then we'll head to the kitchen Excuse the mess in the background. I am in sorting out mode again. I just, I can't help myself. I'm just desperate to nest. So I'm sorting more stuff out. So ignore this. But here is my bump. See, I think he's grown. Oh, my bump's got bigger anyway. They keep saying I'm very petite. Um, and that I've got a very neat bump. But I do definitely feel like my bump has grown. Let me come a bit closer. I'll chop my head off. I don't know. What do you guys think? I do you think my bump is bigger? But yeah, anyway, we're gonna go for that growth scan tomorrow and then I have got another midwife appointment in three weeks time, where obviously they'll measure bump again and decide what we need to do. So if I'm 31, that'll be my 34 week midwife scan. I really shouldn't try and film and walk down the stairs, this is pretty dangerous. But anyway, let's get you set up in the kitchen and I will show you some of the snacks that I've been eating. 
Okay, you might be a bit wonky, I've literally got you resting on a pan, but we're not experts here. So I have got a selection of snacks that have been keeping me going. So as I say, satisfy my sweet tooth or my savoury tooth, depending on how I'm feeling each day. So I just thought I'd share these with you. Now, a lot of these snacks are from like Aldi, B&M, um, other snacks you can get in loads of other supermarkets. But obviously, if you don't live in the UK, you might not have some of these supermarkets. So I do apologise if that's the case. So we'll start with this Tupperware, which contains mostly these skinny brunch bars. So this is the chocolate orange. As you can see, it's only 75 calories. I also have this like chocolate fudge one, which is 70 calories. But my absolute favorite one, and it can be difficult to find, is these fruit and nut ones, and these are actually 99 calories. I also like one that Aldi does. I'll pop a picture on the screen because I've actually ate them all. But I think they are like, yogurt and popcorn i think they are but they are also really good in here i have also got mini packs of cookies because i've been craving tea and biscuits so these ones are just aldi's own and these are double chocolate cookies and they're only 99 calories i also picked up the maryland mini cookies in chocolate orange 99 calories but i will say a bit disappointed don't really get the chocolate orange from these but they are just some go-to little sweet snacks that I can just shove in my bag, take to work, have on the go. And if I am getting that chocolate itch, which I am having more often, especially in the afternoon, they're just a nice little pick-me-up. Next, I have got crisps. I am definitely more of a sweet person than a savoury person. But I found these lentil chips in Aldi. So they are just barbecue flavour. They are a small bag and for the bag they are 71 calories. I also eat a lot of fruit, mainly either some kind of like tangerine like this or apple and peanut butter. That's also another favourite of mine. So I always have berries in the morning. I'll have a piece of fruit in the afternoon and then usually for like dessert in the evening, I'll also have some berries, so raspberries or blueberries, which reminds me for dessert, I have been having these high protein chocolate mousses from Aldi again. Aldi has just got all the good go-to low calorie snacks. So this is what the chocolate mousse looks like. It has got 20 grams of protein if you eat the whole thing. I actually only eat half, um, so 100 grams. So I make these last two days because I think they're actually quite filling. And if you have 100 grams, 76 calories, and it genuinely tastes like any kind of normal chocolate mousse. Like I really recommend these if you can get your hands on them. And then in terms of savory snacks, I eat so many of these they are the light baby bells so just little round cheeses you can also have cheese strings if you like cheese strings or dairy leaf triangles but a big bag of baby bells is my go-to and i think these are like 42 calories yeah 42 calories per baby bell i also like any kind of chicken bite snack so these are the Aldi ones. I actually prefer these ones, but there's loads of different brands that do chicken snacks. So they are high in protein. If I was to eat the whole bag of these, they are 170 calories. I usually just take half a bag of the chicken bites and a baby bell to work, and that is one snack. And then finally, I'm quite partial to some hummus and cucumber or carrots or something like that. At the moment in the fridge, I've got cucumber. So this is just the Accardo Italian style tomato hummus. I've not actually opened this yet, but again, hummus is just something really good, quick, easy to have in the fridge. So I just wanted to share some of the snacks that I've been eating in my third trimester. I know some people say that they don't get as hungry in the third trimester, or maybe you're somebody who's gone to having smaller meals, so having to snack more often and there's definitely loads of stuff out there. I know that for some people, they might be thinking like, 
why are you worrying about eating low calorie when you're pregnant, just eat what you want, etc. But I am also trying to be healthy and feel good and I definitely haven't been feeling good lately because I've just been eating anything and everything. So trying to find a balance between eating nice healthy meals like breakfast, lunch and dinner and then having a few little treats in between has been really working for me and this might be useful for somebody who's feeling the same. So I am going to end this part here. I will pick up my camera tomorrow when I have been for my growth scan and update you on that. And yeah, I'm gonna go and make some lunch now and probably eat one of these snacks. It is now a couple of days later after going for my midwife appointment that we were sent for a growth scan, which was a really good experience. The sonographer that did my growth scan was lovely. They made sure they showed us baby. We could see like hair, eyes, lips. He was laid with his arm behind his head, um, his head down, and then we could see his spine up near my belly button, and then he was like frog-legged, and one arm was grabbing onto his foot. It was crazy to see, not the clearest of images, but it was really nice to see him like moving around, and some of the aches and pains I've been getting like near my right hip and my right rib would explain the position that he's laid in. But anyway, they took measurements of his head, his abdomen, and his femur um, and then they put those measurements into a computer and then it tells you where you are in terms of percentile and also an estimate of the baby's weight. He is on the 38th percentile and he is currently measuring just under four pounds which according to my app that I use is exactly where he should be for like 32 weeks so that was really positive and we we're really happy about that and then she also checked the amount of fluid that is in there and also the cord and she listened to the cord and then made sure that there was enough like flow of blood going through the cord which I found really interesting so really thorough lots of checks we had loads of time to look at baby and see him moving around and wriggling and the positions that he was in and she was happy. She said anything between the 19th percentile and the 90th percentile they were happy with. So the fact that he was on the 38th percentile was perfect and actually exactly where he should be for where I am in my pregnancy. So it was really positive news. I haven't got another appointment now with my midwife for another three weeks. So it'll be the same procedure. They'll measure bump, plot it on the chart. And yeah, if it goes down or... Um, too far up i guess i'll just be referred for another growth scan but yeah just wanted to come on and close the video with an update on my growth scan i would say symptoms wise if you watch my last video not very much has changed um in terms of my symptoms now it's just a case of making sure baby's growth is okay making sure i'm looking after myself as well i've definitely been doing a lot more exercise um, and as I showed you the snacks, like trying to pick healthier snacks, although I did eat like a family size bar of Galaxy. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm getting out for walks, moving more, doing some exercise, eating healthy where I can, giving into cravings, um, especially because I'm so tired. But uh, yeah, I would say nothing's really changed in terms of symptoms since my last video. So I'm going to go and wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.